the sport to the... Oh, game starts. And, uh, yeah, Langen is already pushing forward in ball possession, coming from the close side into the basket of the Black Marmorades, into the defense, pushing into the defense. Already uh, secondary players waiting, and they try to uh, play around to the basket on both sides. We have now our players from uh, Langen waiting to go for the kill. Uh, and again, the players positioned. It's uh, the fourth wave, the fifth wave going in, sixth wave going in, not succeeding. Uh, well defense uh, from uh, Black Mary. It's against this uh, decisive attack. It's the seventh attack we have on the basket. Ball is almost lost. Recovered by a Black Mary player and then try to break free. Are on the surface, which is quite difficult against the uh, physically strong Langen players. And uh, they have the ball. Wrong camera. Thank you. Uh, again, uh, Langen has the ball and is attacking again from the close side to the basket of the Black Memorials. Yep, they're coming very constantly and, and there we have always, at least or until now, we always had two to three players on the water. Right now is when they have the one and almost lost the ball. So it's so important to build up the waves with two or three players constantly coming up like we have seen, um, for instance, with in the women teams with the uh, Orca women team. We have to see now uh, how they can uh, get around the defense that the Black Mercedes are putting up because they are looking quite confident uh, there True, uh, yeah. and they are in position so they need to get a little bit closer and to move the ball maybe a bit strong uh, faster uh, to um, put some stress into the defenders and into the ball keepers because right now um, well, now we have one of the uh, Langen players that just stole the basket and... Mm, here we go. But we've seen that in, in other games we already seen on this Champions Cup. Go. Um, in the Full first, second minute, uh, number five uh, is who from uh, Langen? Number five is Anna. Anna Olt. And all to make the goal. We saw that uh, and under the pressure, the defense in the first minutes can hold, but then eventually it breaks because when the pressure rises too high after a certain time, they just uh, cannot withstand it. So ball intercepted here in this beginning game uh, from uh, Langen. They're and uh, in counter attack again. Then uh, Black Mary players try to stop them in the middle, but don't exceed. Uh, Langen players are pushing forward, 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 going for the goal, almost there. Here, they reach the goal and again scored. That was quite fast. Goal, blue team number three. Blue the team number three. This is, um, we don't have a number three. So in our list, there is no number three, so we don't know the name happens eventually. But it was a game, uh, a goal for uh, Langen. And it's already a 2-0 after less than uh, four minutes into this game. And uh, let's say Langen uh, quite dominates here, um, but uh, doesn't mean uh, we don't see a response uh, from the Black Marmorades. They are also experienced players. And uh, Langen is taking a little bit of uh, speed out of the game. And now they go for the basket to, no. the, to the Black Marmorades and visit them again to give them a gift into their basket. Well, now we have uh, two blue players under the basket of the, of the white team and they just brought the, the goalkeeper up. Goal, blue number five. Uh, again, blue, I have to double check if, because uh, it seems we don't know if we have um, the right the list. Right list. Yep. So it's already a 3-0 and we don't even have five minutes into the first half. Um, it's going to be a tough game for the Black Mermaids. And uh, it will be a mental game. They shouldn't give up because they have a good chance to break through. We haven't seen that yet. They didn't made it yet to the Langen basket. And uh, it's a strong team, a, long, a strong Langen team we Langen see here. Langen has a lot of uh, players from the national team. They have been playing together for a long time. They know what they're doing. Uh, they play together as well in Helsinki. So they are well trained for this year. 
and I, I, I think it's, it's one of the favorites. And so far, they have been really uh, playing the ball fast and been attacking in waves with two or three players. Uh, let's see if they can continue uh, with this tactic because last year there was a couple of games where they could not really bring up into the water where they normally could. Uh, this game show us uh, the, the kind of game we can expect from them. So now they have established a block against one of the defenders. The goalkeeper uh, was about uh, to leave and it was a bit of a risky situation but now the ball's a bit farther away and we have the defender and the goalkeeper into position and uh, the Langen uh, women trying to build up the waves, but now we have um, just uh, an attack being two meters away from the goal. But they're they undisturbed, need. aren't they? Langen can just do whatever they want in the in the well, circumstances or, or area they around have the basket. Three goals already, and they have few games to come, and they want to win as well. So. But they are not under pressure around the no, the mermaid why basket. why should you? I mean. Um, Look, no, uh, the mermaids should yes. the mermaids should be put more pressure goal. out from Rule the goal. Number well, six. yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Langen is not under pressure no, from exactly. the mermaids. Oh, now I understand you. Yep. I, I'm always happy when you understand me. <laughs> I'm happy when I understand you too. This <laughs> <laughs> is not okay. <laughs> Shall we discuss this right now? <laughs> so, four zero for the German women, and we still have three minutes left from the first half of this uh, match. The Germans are in the group C together with Copenhagen and the Black Mermaids, and so a group of three because it's nine uh, female teams. And uh, they're doing a great job uh, in the way they were building up their attack. Now the Black Mermaids are trying to stop, trying to do some forward checking, but they're not really successful on that. And now we're already at the Swedish basket, and one of the defenders recovered the ball, and now they're trying to stream a counter attack. And uh, the German women are coming into position. We have the goalie, we have the defender, and one Swedish girl. Uh, now we, the German team recovered the ball and trying to start but was held up by one of the Swedish players. Um, now they were in the middle of the pool, continue with the uh, counter attack. And now we have two blue teams, one goalkeeper alone. Uh, that was almost like a penalty. She held herself against the wall. You're not supposed to fix yourself. This would have been a call from the referees. I don't know if they didn't see it or they're trying to leave just uh, the advantage um, rule. But um, I don't know, for me, the was holding against the wall but okay they managed to score we have low, five low zero number 10. and the uh, number 10 that should be laura laura Buchner. yep that's the captain of the langen team so five zero and one and a half minutes to go from the first half uh they are doing a, a very good game. Um, the Swedish team, uh, it's playing a little bit slower, it's reacting a little bit slower, so that's why they cannot really um, stop the German attack. And the Germans are putting so much pressure that they force the, they, they build up five, six waves, and then they force the mistakes in the defense until they score. So I don't see that the Swedish team can recover for 5-0 at this point. What do you think, Paul? Yes, I totally agree with you, Lorena. Uh, your uh, analyst analyzing uh, of, the, of this game is, is pristine, like always. And, uh, I ask you a question. <laughs> I know you did, and I agreed with you. So uh, I, I totally agree with you, whatever you said. I was just managing our youth team again. So we have three blue... Uh, players trying to um, build up the first way we're in the second way the passing the ball but the defender intercepted and now they're pulling up to the surface still we have one of the German players underneath the scrum no that's from the cluster sorry mm, let's see they're trying they're fighting for the ball in the surface and 
Let's see, they recover, the Swedish recover the ball on time for the half time. So we have now three minutes break end of until period. the second half. So at the end of the first period. Ah, yeah, okay. Hi, we have here uh, Felicitas. Felicitas. Yes, uh, she was also in Helsinki because she is uh, doing, trying to do like a study of the underwater rugby injuries. So I like her to introduce the study to the audience while we wait uh, for the second half to start. So tell us, please, Felicitas, <laughs> and exactly how much uh, data have you gathered already, and how it's going on. With the project. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, we're doing a study about uh, overuse syndromes are there <laughs> and uh, injuries in underwater rugby and um, I've already been to Helsinki and we were able to uh, get over 100 questionnaires. So um, I hope there will be some athletes here that haven't participated yet <laughs> because that seems to be a problem. Um, I'm like in front next to the, the main office in the entrance Exactly, floor. just next to us here. How many questionnaires are you willing to make? What's your, do you have like a, uh, like a um, amount that you would like to have, like 300, 500 or um, just? We were trying to get as many as possible, but we would like to have uh, like around 200, so. So you're missing 60 so far. So yeah, around 60. So please, <laughs> everyone listening here that is here in the hall, t tell your uh, playmates just to come here to register all the injuries you have had. Uh, we all mean everyone that is playing in this cup, most of us have been playing for maybe over 10, 15 years and have at least a few uh, injuries that we can uh, tell. So yeah, even uh, if you don't have injuries or had any injuries, that's so important far, that's as also well. important for yeah, you to have a well. Okay, perfect. So that I didn't know. Uh, if you <laughs> never had exactly, <laughs> but <laughs> you're 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 right. You need to know uh, what the ratio of injury is. So you also need to know who are the players yes. that did not get an injury. So yes, everyone, everyone, please. <laughs> this is very important for our sport. We have you know such a luxury. Someone is trying to do study and register all of the injuries, and um, so really we the only thing we have to do is just fill up a, a formula and then she does the, the rest of the job. Yeah. So please let uh, support her <laughs> job. What I mean, what's the name of the the um the for study. your thesis for the study, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, injuries and overuse syndromes in underwater rugby. Okay, so please, guys, uh, yes, in the underwater, um, the U UW Academy, we're having this subject. We were actually raising the question that maybe it's not. We always said, oh, no, our sport, you don't have a lot of injuries. But actually, is that the, the case, or is it that we have a lot of injuries and people have just finish or, or don't continue playing rugby and since we don't have a register since we do not have a register how can we there okay. to say we don't Second have injuries so we, we have to continue with the game thanks a lot Felicity thank you for please having me again. we will keep you remind you come and fill up the formula I have to do it I haven't done it so I will do it <laughs> <laughs> the thank next you. two days Teams ready. so okay thank you so much bye, Six <laughs> bye. Players. okay second time <laughs> So we're back in the game here, Langen against uh, Langen from Germany against Black Mermaids from Sweden, and it's a 5-0 lead for Langen. Oh, always a difficult situation if the goalkeeper uh, is alone with the ball with an attacker in front of him that disrupts uh, the Yeah, for normal. a ball, it's, it's very hard when you have to breathe after such a fight to uh, go back to the basket. So now we have a surface fight and um, we can see... It's in the middle half of the pool on the surface and uh, Langen and Black Memory players. Now the ball is down, Langen has the ball and they're uh, in their own half trying to break through uh, into the half of uh, Black Mermaids. They succeed step by step with uh, a lot of interceptions, uh, tr receptions, tries from uh, Play Mermaids. But here we are back again at the basket of uh, the Swedish players and the attacks go in. There was one uh, attack uh, close to the head with a ball but didn't succeed, didn't go into the basket. Second attack from above to the player on the open side waiting but he's not, uh, she's under attack and the uh, um the basket is uh, empty stolen I mean away and stolen away even by a langen player 
I don't know. For me, it looks. I mean, the the goalie and the defenders are taking a lot of the attack. It's like the um, the attackers of the Black Mermaids are not really being able to stop yep. the attacks of the. And another goal. And I think that was Laura again. Let's see. Glow, goal, blue, number ten. Yeah, that was Laura again. Um, six goals for Langen and the Black Mermaids, you know, they are good into position. They try to uh, defend the basket, but they need a bit of a more intensive work from their um, attackers because otherwise the Germans are just direct under the basket. They move the ball fast and the defender does not really um, have enough uh, time or uh, possibilities to move from right to left to block all three very of the attackers. Fast, yep. Very fast counter-attack now from uh, Langen and we see another goal. We, 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 goal. Didn't, we goal didn't see it. We didn't see it. it was we, so okay. fast uh, our technical number guys didn't have time to switch the camera. Number 19 I think it was Maren. So with three minutes into the second half here of this game of uh, Usi Langen from Germany in blue against the Black Mermaids from Sweden. And it's already a 7-0 lead for Langen, which is one of the top teams here for the Champions Cup. And again, a counter-attack we go. And they go in quite uh, confident, waiting for the next wave. First wave waits for the next wave. The second wave attacking from above and passing to the open side there was a empty basket oh, that was and a the bit bus the, the ball fell down on the open side and uh, only with a uh, good of luck uh, they didn't catch a goal in this uh, situation where there was an empty basket and only some hands holding uh, the but you see what i away. mean i mean the 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 germans have l almost like a free way to the uh, directly under the basket the defenders and the goalie yeah. are at the mercy of the attackers of, of langen because the attackers of the black mermaids are not for checking uh, very yeah. effectively and that's yeah. a killer for every goalie and every defender then you're completely out of breath um and then you do a mistake so we have a bit less than six minutes left and uh, there's a clear victory uh, for Langen 7-0 and the way the Langen is playing, the way Black Mermaids are playing this year, and there's no way to uh, turn this game around. Well, there is a way. <laughs> if Langen would go out of the water and uh, leave Black Mermaids <laughs> alone, <laughs> that would change the game. But uh, that we ha, will not ha, see ha. that happen. Langen wants to win uh, this Champions Cup this year. And the only thing standing in the way, I guess, are the Orcas and Akaren. Yeah. So that will be the interesting games. Here in this one, Black Mermaids, uh, they, they are not broken, but uh, they the Langen already controls the game. Yes, no, the Mer Black Mermaids are putting up a good fight. They, they also didn't give up. They, no, they're not really at all. They are, they're trying with the best they can. But look, we have the two... Attackers just looking from above, and we have the defender and the goalie taking along and, the attack. And with the I mean physical force uh, Langen can put into their attacks, you shouldn't allow them to touch no. the basket, to get in touching distance of the basket, because when they do, they score. And they're really fast how they interrupt the game, like we see here. They want, uh, Black Marriott's want to break free from the basket, but they're, they're try to break free is instantly interrupted by a Langen player who uh, returns the favor and tries to go there to for, free throw. Back for the basket White against team. Langen that's a chance to take Attacking a breath for Langen the equipment so there was a, a free throw uh, now against Langen because of uh, um, attacking the equipment. Yes uh, uh, Aristides Rodriguez we totally agree Langen is a great game and a team. great team and uh, definitely and I guess, you know after that uh, Germany lost against Norway Norway in the uh, European Ma Championship probably they want to show also what they are able to play we have a lot of the players of the national team in, in Langen so hopefully they can show what they can and what they couldn't show in the European Championship so we have now a counter-attack of Langen the Black Mermaids are trying to get into position again uh, the um, attackers could hold the, at the, the, the 
German attacker for a little bit, but Ooh, that, was, that a was a mistake in the change of the uh, goalkeeper. It was very well played by the long player. Yes, it was a I very mean, good it's, very, throw. it's really difficult when Smart. you are changing like that. <laughs> um, Goal, blue, but they left it. The basket and attended for for a second yes. until the, the and player. And it was a. <laughs> there number yep. 15. And and to to throw the ball out of the crib where you secure it into that moment which, was very well done. Which number was the number 15? No. Oh, sorry. Was I think it was Kati, but I'm not. Three sure. minutes left in the second half, and we have an 8-0 lead for Langen. And now the Germans got the ball actually, and then are into attack again. They're next to the uh, defender. They cannot really control three German players, you know, just one. And now the ball is pulled up <laughs> to the top and let's see who recovers the ball. The Swedish goalies need to stay into position because they're directly uh, above the, the goalie and now they're under her. But the defender successfully got the ball. The problem is she doesn't have anyone to whom play the ball. So she just threw it away. And uh, the number 15 got it. But the defender was outside, almost outside the, 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 the game area. Now we have this Black Mermaid trying to swim away. But she didn't even make it to the half of the field. And uh, they're going on the surface, are playing, fighting for the ball. And we have less than two minutes left. Let's see, now Lange has the ball and they're in counter-attack but it's one against four, against five. Now of course everyone is going to be in the surface at the same time and Lange has been underneath two to three players at a time so then it's when the scores happen. But okay, good catch from the Swedish player that recovered the ball but lost it again and now we have uh, another attack. And we have, uh, let's see, there's in the surface, I can see, uh, okay, uh, the captain recover the ball and is trying to swim, but it's been stopped at some of the Swedish uh, teams. Now it's underneath, and the player that I was just underneath, uh, the goalie got the ball, pull her up, and go. number four. Number four of Langen. Apparently Petra Köppen. So nine. So we have 30 seconds left, and we have the Black Mermaids trying to get at least in the half uh, of the Langen team, and made it a little bit. Uh, almost to the close corner, just three meters away from the goal, but they are fighting now. I have the referee blocking a little bit the side, but Langen recovered the ball. It's trying to do to him a counter attack. It's been hauled but one of the Black Mermaids, and now it's continuing with the counter attack. Eight seconds left, and I um, can't see what's going on at the referee. Okay, now we are at the basket of the Swedish team, and the game's over. Nine. 0 for Langen. Game that over. was a great game. Uh, the Swedish team really uh, 